Welcome back to our upper body workout. Deborah has joined us, and she's going to show us a new exercise for the back of your arms or your triceps. This is called an overhead dumbbell extension. And this is a really great exercise for strengthening and toning up the back of the arm. I know a lot of people at home do have problems with their triceps. They have a lot of loose skin, and that's a big question. They say, what can I do to help tone that up? And here's a perfect example of an exercise that anybody can do at home. How you doing, Zebra? Doing great. How are you feeling after the game today, Denise? Uh, don't worry about it. We're going to get you back later. It's not over. I don't Until think it's so. over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do good. a couple more. OK, good. Now, we're still keeping our repetitions fairly high. We're doing anywhere right. between 10 and 15, because we're just focusing on toning. We're really not trying to build a lot of big muscle here today. The tricep is really a small muscle right behind the arm, and I hear a lot of people saying that it gets loose and flabby, like Denise was saying. It's basically because they don't use it. Exactly. Yeah, so if you just do some of these, you can use um, a weight or a can of soup or whatever, yeah, or great. you can use your own resistance. As long as you t put the elbows, as you see, your elbows are here, and then you extend the weight and you squeeze and contract that tricep at the top. It's a wonderful exercise, and it will tighten and tone that area. I'm just about done. Two more. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, great. Now, we're going to move on to another great tricep exercise. Okay. This is called a lying tricep extension. Deborah's going to lay flat on her back. And for those of you that are working home with a partner, your partner can kneel behind you and spot you. Should she get stuck, I could always spot her from her wrist. Now, if, she, if you notice, her arms are stationary. There's only movement from her elbow. She's flexing at her elbows and then contracting at the top of the movement. This exercise can also be done with a bar. For those of you at home who may not have a bar, you can use a broomstick handle or a mop handle. Two more. Good. Last one. Good. Good it set. Feels great to feel the muscle that you're working in. Certainly when you would do triceps, because they're not worked on a lot, you can really get in there and feel the contraction. Now, another thing that's good to think about when you do your tricep extensions is if you want to make it a little difficult, let's say you have light weights, you're doing high reps, sort of what we're doing today, then if you pull the elbows in closer together, you're going to feel it even tighter and deeper in your, deeper in your triceps. Another thing I like to do, Deborah, when I do this exercise, mm -hmm. Is give a little twist at the top. You get an extra squeeze in your tricep. So if there's a small rotation at the top, it's exactly. a change. It's good to alter what you do, too. Do a few just with keeping your elbows Ooh. straight. And then do a few where you... This is my last one, Deborah. Good. Rotate your wrist at the top. Whoa. Okay. All right. This is one of my favorite exercises. In fact, I'm going to use a weight. Let's say one weight. Okay. <laughs> for dips. <laughs> I think if you, if you do add the weight, it's a little more advanced. But again, right up to the triceps. And it's really important when you do do this exercise that you don't allow your body to float too far away from the bench because it will cause stress on the shoulders. A lot of people ask me that. They do feel a lot of stress on their shoulders. So she's only about an inch or two away from the bench. That's really important. For those of you at home that are just beginning this exercise, you could do it on the side of a bed or the side of a chair. And if you notice, her knees are on a 90-degree angle, so she's really only using about half of her body One weight. Good. All right. Did you want to try a weight? I will do it another way without the weight. This is also an advanced way of doing a dip. Rather than having my knees bent, I'm going to extend my legs outward. And the movement's exactly the same. This is definitely advanced because it makes it more intense. She's using more of her body weight exactly. for her triceps. So it's a lot harder, but for Denise at her level, it's a great thing to do. And you need to challenge yourself. So after you do a few dips and you're doing them for three times a week and a couple weeks, then you might go ahead and try to do some with your leg ex legs extended, but keep your knees bent. Two more, two more. Two Ooh. more? How about four more? OK, I'll try. <laughs> two more now. Last Good. One. She looks great. Her shoulders are down, too, if you can think about that as you're working. OK. okay. Let's move on to a great exercise that a lot of people really enjoy doing, tricep kickback. Now, yeah, if you I do notice, like these too. Deborah's elbows cocked up in the air, and she's just extending back. That's where the contraction is. That's where she's working her tricep. Her back is flat. She has her knee bent. This is really important that you do focus on the positioning of your body when doing exercises such as this, because you never want to hurt your spine. Good, that's two. Good. Your triceps look great. Thank you. It's from training. You want to come around? So I'll go ahead and side? do this side. Okay. Deborah do doesn't arms. know that I'm working her really hard because 
We're gonna get her in volleyball later on. <laughs> She's not gonna forget. I will not forget. And I'm not gonna let her forget that we beat her today. So we're still not finished with you today. If you stay with us, Leanne will be joining us and we're gonna take you through an awesome bicep workout.